It's a bit much, don't you think? right hey guys welcome to woodwork life yeah up here hey can you see me hey so it looks like it's time for another unboxing uh, i met the guys from rockler uh at workbench con this year earlier this year it was pretty cool they're really cool guys um and uh we decided to do some work together down the road and uh, they said hey we're gonna send you over some tools so you can check them out you know no obligations but we're gonna send you some cool stuff so you can check out. I'm like, yeah, that'd be great. Um, I've been looking to make my shop more dust free. So yeah, why don't you send me over some uh, dust collection stuff? Well, uh, I think they sent me a little bit more than that. Um, so let's check out what's in these boxes. First off, um, we'll get some of the stuff out of the way that you already kind of know what it is. Um, I've got the Rockler like dovetail jig, um, some of their hoses. I've got the whole router pro lift set up in there, which is awesome. And I do want to work with all that, but I want to get to all these boxes that I don't know what's in them. And uh, pardon me, but this video is probably gonna have quite a few jump cuts in it. There's just a lot to get through here. So I guess uh, come along for the ride and uh, let's see what we're gonna get into. I'm king in here. Peter, maybe Stewie would like to play Fort too. No! If you need me, I'll be in space. All right, so uh, let's have at it for round one. Um, I don't know what the strategy is. Maybe kid on Christmas morning, go for the big box first. Let's see what we got here. This one is. Uh, this is the Bench Cookie Storage Center. Um, so this goes for like the edge of like a multifunction table um, to give you storage for all the bench cookies, which are used to like kind of like uh, finishing spikes. Uh, here's a spray gun cleaning kit. I'm assuming there's a spray gun in here somewhere. Oh, nice. Some uh, zero clearance insert phenolic plates for table saws. Definitely use some of that. Uh, some nice bench dogs. I need to install those. Uh, we got a one and a half inch Forstner bit. Um, we've got a dovetail jig dust collector. That'll be nice. The dust free shop is something that I'm really shooting for this summer. Drive. Uh, drill and drive sets. So this is like the uh, the drill and drive set that is like the counter sinks that Norm Abrams used to use on New Yankee Workshop. Um, we've got some of their floating mortise and tendon stock. This is the beadlock system. This is a Rockler like exclusive thing that they do. It's kind of like the domino, but it just uses a drill and a jig. So that's pretty cool. Uh, awesome. Well, that's just one box in. Uh, so we got a lot more to go. Uh, go this little guy. Uh. Oh, nice. A single solitary two and a half inch locking uh, caster. Um, that could be cool for the router table I'm building uh, next week. And then some uh, brass setup bars. Those will be good to have around. Setup stock's nice, because then you don't have to like guess on a measurement. It's just always consistently the same thing. Um, I'm not sure how accurate those are compared to like some like machinist ones, but it should be nice. Um, here is a router plate, a nice phenolic router plate. So that'll be good to have. They did also send the pro lift system, so. Like we're done it, we've got. A beadlock pro system. This is more to go with that uh, beadlock stock that I opened a minute ago. I'm trying to get through this quickly. I don't want this to go on all night. Oh, nice bandy clamps. Um, these are good for like edge banding um, or just like really good uh, pinch clamps for you know whatever you really want to use them for. They put like inter uh, like sideways pressure and uh, vertical pressure at the same time. So that'll be cool. 
Here's a router mat. Um, this is cool, but I tend to use, just use, um, oh, but it's also got bench dogs. It looks like a whole kit. Oh, cool. Um, so this has got some bench dogs. It's got some, uh, looks like uh, planing stops and then a, a router mat, just like a mat. Um, this stuff's really cool, but you can also just uh, go to like your grocery store and use the uh, the cabinet shelf liner. That stuff works really well. It's always, um, I'm not sure if you've seen it in any videos, but I've always got a roll of that stuff under my bench for when I'm working with a router or working with whatever on my uh, tabletop. Just makes it, gives it a little grip. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. This is actually something I asked for. Um, this is the uh, Miter Fold Dado Set. This is really cool. Oh, I forgot the guy. Um, I'll flash it up here on screen. Editing Rick, remember that. Um, I watched them develop this. Um, a guy on YouTube actually designed it and sold the patents to Rockler. It's a dado stack, um, but with one cut, you basically can flat pack and, uh, well, you can like uh, basically make a flat pack box, um, or sorry, a knockdown box. Um, so you don't actually, you can do continuous grain around the whole box. You don't see any joinery. There's plenty of glue surface area. It's great for like plywood boxes. You can even use it with hardwoods and stuff too. But this thing's really cool. I, I, I want to try this. I, I'm gonna look forward to see how easy this is to make like a nice plywood box out of. That, that'll be cool. What is this? This is, looks like some router bits. Oh, nice. So this is the router bit where you can actually make beadlock out of whatever material you want. Um, pretty specialized router bit here, um, but basically makes like a multiple beaded joint. Um, and then you just can trim the stock and you've got floating tenons for the beadlock system. So that's cool. Um, pretty straightforward. It's nice, I guess if you wanted to make your own dominoes, you'd have to do four passes. With that, you'd only have to do two. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Nobody docks me or anything here. If you catch my address, I'll try to blur it out, but be nice. Um, some clamps. These are some uh, traditional F-style clamps. It's kind of Rockler special, so they've got these, they twist out so you can get a little more torque on them. Um, those will be really helpful. These are heavy duty. This bar is like serious business. It's probably like quarter inch, three eighths inch stock. It's, it's super, super hefty. Um, it's got nice wide jaws too. So this would be nice for, what's that uh, thing going on Instagram? Like uh, measure twice, cut once, and then force to fit. So these would be nice force to fit clamps. We'll get into this guy. What do you think, another caster? Do we not have a unicycle? Oh, no. We've got the Dowling Complete Jig. I think I actually already have one of these. Um, does, any of you guys, does any of you guys want this? Uh, maybe I'll do a little giveaway. Uh, drop a comment down below if uh, you want this uh, Dowling Jig. I've actually already got one, so really cool thing. I actually bought one of these before I was working with Rockler, but awesome. Uh, dowels are a super uh, easy to use kit. Um, I will also be doing a joinery shootout, including dowels in a future video. So this is a pretty cool setup, and uh, I guess drop a comment down below if you want to win that. Um, I'll set up a giveaway. Okay. Okay, here we got some more jigs. This is a universal drawer slide jig, so this way you can uh, <clears throat> lock a drawer slide at the right level and uh, hold it in while you attach it, so that's nice. It's got adjustable spacing and everything, so that'll be helpful. I'm doing a lot. Hey, all right, this is not unexpected. <coughs> so we got a bunch of bench cookies. cookies. That's Pretty good easy. enough for me. C is for um, cookie. That's yeah, good enough for guy. me. It's uh, for the mini sandpaper rolls. It's got like a little tear off and you can, it's got little demarcations for each of the grits. Um, so that'll be nice to have. And then oh, a bonus router, uh, two and a quarter horsepower fixed base router. So that'll be cool. I'll put that in one of the router tables that I'll be building here pretty soon. So that'll be good to have around. Uh, I'm gonna bet this is clamps, maybe? Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we've got, oh yeah, these are those nice bar clamps. Um, 
Yeah, in the past I've just used for these uh, straight bar clamps, I've just used the Harbor Freight ones. And then I used Paul Sellers did a little trick where you just trim like a two by four and stick it inside of there and it reinforces it. And then he also put some uh, uh, like soft wood on the jaws that doesn't mar any of your work. Um, but this is nice, it's got little screw holes so you can put the uh, soft jaws on there. And uh, it's actually quite a bit more rigid than the uh, aluminum that it's in the Harbor Freight. Yeah, it's like a quarter of an inch thick. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, so that'll be, those will be nice. Never have too many clamps. Don't ever let you, let anybody tell you you have too many clamps. All right. Got more bandy clamps. I think I cut the zip tie on that one, but whatever. Well, this looks nice. What do we have here? What is this guy? Oh, it's the bench dog. Nice, it's got adjustable throat. Nice, breasts. Looks like a really similar to a Stanley design, little tighter tolerances. Um, it'll be interesting to see if that overtakes any of the block planes that I currently have in my stable as a daily user. So that's cool. Didn't die. Let's see what's in here. Okay, some sort of soft case. Uh, all right, here is a uh, portable spray shelter. Um, this will be cool, so I wanted up with all these little black spots all around the floor of my workshop. Um, just every box, I love it. More bandy clamps. Um, I'm building a really cool clamp storage system um, pretty soon here. Um, I'm actually going to be using the dovetailing jig, but actually to do uh, uh, finger joints. So look out for that. Um, here's a cool wireless speaker kit. Um, definitely use this for something, maybe for my office or whatever. Awesome, some wooden clamps. Um, I don't really use these for clamping, but they're nice as like an extra set of hands or like a sacrificial set of hands. If you're working with like a router table or working closer than you feel comfortable with to the blade. <laughs> Uh, all right, here's some uh, more stop kits. This is for like, uh, this is similar to like the way a bench dog system works on a traditional workbench. Um, but they use the T-Tracks with their T-Track system with these stop kits. Um, so that um, will be really cool once I build my T-Track table. Okay. All right, this looks like a lot more dust collection stuff. We've got um, router table, dust collection, and feather boards. Um, feather boards are great. Make sure you get a consistent cut, especially if you're doing like uh, um, more like uh, trim work and uh, like using your router table more like a, a traditional mill wood. Um, here is a concealed hinge drilling guide. Um, this is nice for doing like Euro hinges, um, concealed hinges um, on face frame cabinetry. Another ratcheting band clamp. Oh nice, a couple shot blocks. So this is just kind of a place, like a catch-all for just like um, stuff. It looks like they use it for, um, I mean, this, this is displayed with like pen making stuff. But it's a nice place to like throw pencils or pieces of hardware or awls or whatever you're using, like as you're using it. Sorry, man, I'm sweating so much. Um, uh, here's some bench cookie standoffs to get those a little bit further off of your bench. Mm, universal fence clamps, I have these, been using them, they're awesome, but they also work with the, uh, the clamp at corner blocks, so that'll be nice to have. Um, oh, here's some handles for the compact router base. Um, I've been looking for a good base plate to upgrade my uh, rigid uh, cordless router, so I'll see if those work with that. That'd be nice, um, because I couldn't really find a... Um, here's a different glue bottle. Um, so I thought I would love the glue bot, and I've been using it for a long time, um, but everybody in the comments when I first used it was saying how they had the glue seize up in them multiple times, and I was like, oh, that'll never happen. But yeah, it does seize up quite a bit. Um, especially if you're going to leave it over the winter or, you know, if you use your shop in the winter. So that's something to think about. Um, but this looks pretty cool. I'll see how this works. That'll be interesting. Um, 
What do we got here? This looks like another hand plane. It's similar to the other box. I'll betcha. Bench dog number four smoother. It's kind of heavy. What do we got? Oh yeah. Okay, here's a bench dog number four. Um, kind of like in between a number four and number three. So we got three and a half. I guess I'm used to using four and a half, so it's a four. Um, that's cool. Uh, it's really thick brass um, cap, cap, nice thick iron and thick cap iron. Um, I'll be interested. I've never used any of the bench dog planes, but on my smoothing plane shootout, uh, I'll link to that right here or wherever. Um, there's a lot of people that did say that they did like the bench dog plane, so I'll see how those stack up. That'll be interesting. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, so these are some of the bigger boxes that we got. Let's see. Lots of metal in there. What is it? What are you? Uh, oh, nice. I never thought as a kid wanting to build stuff with wood that I would get so excited about vacuums, but uh, in a garage, dust collection is like your best friend. So it'll be really nice to have like really good dust collection now. And other things to save my life. Here's a, here's a nice wall mountable cord reel. Um, Cause extension cords also because, you know, everything's cordless now, but you still have stuff like sanders and, you know, some of your, and like circular saws and things like that. Well, not anymore really, but you're getting to that point where there's still some corded stuff that's gotta be around your shop. Um, so it's nice to get those cords out of the way. Here's some more clampets. These actually have their own clamps built in. So that's cool. I guess that's like a next gen feature. I think I know what this is. That doesn't make me any less excited. Oh, okay. So I think this is the tiny little wall mount dust collector that uh, David Prosciutto or Prosciutto or whatever his name is. That guy, yeah, it is. So this is, this is that, the dust collector. And in my shop, I don't really have the floor space or the overhead space for hoses for dust collection for my table saw. That doesn't mean I don't want dust collection for my table saw. So I plan on letting this thing just live underneath my table saw, probably make like a little uh, shelf for it, and then just be able to run it and hook it up maybe to the same outlet as the table saw and just let it run anytime the table saw runs. <clears throat> this one's a little beat up. I am running out of room. I don't have any room in here. Oh, nice. Another retractable cable reel. Hey, uh, you're not gonna be able to get in, and I'm rolling. Some more sweet gear. Another toggle clamp. Uh, straight jig, straight drilling jig, so you can drill square without a drill press, which is really helpful to have. More clamp it, square clamps. And I think that's it. Okay, let me clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, so I managed to get the shop a little bit cleaned up. I got all the boxes taken out to recycling and broken down and all that stuff. And this isn't even like 30% of the haul from today. It's ridiculous, it's just everywhere. So I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the night just like getting this place back in an organized shape where I can get work done. But with all these jigs and uh, all these cool new tools, it's gonna be really a lot easier to get like good stuff done. So thank you very much, Rockler. Um, I did actually end up getting an extra doweling get jig um, and an extra beadlock system. And these are both awesome, but I have already gotten them for 
the hand tool shootout I'm getting ready for, looking at a follow-up to the joinery shootout. Um, so that, sh that should be out in a couple months. But um, since I've got extras, um, why don't you drop a comment down below, let me know which one you want, and uh, I'll pick a random winner, uh, continental US only, and uh, I'll send you a message in the back end of YouTube, and uh, you can win one of these. Um, these things are pretty expensive, um, but really nice. The beadlock system, basically like a floating tenon jig, um, similar like the Domino, but just uses your drill. And then the uh, doweling jig uh, is a great doweling jig. It comes with a half inch, three eighth inch, and three sixteenth inch, three sixteenth inch doweling uh, jigs. So really cool setup, really cool giveaway too to go along with that. Uh, thank you very much, Rockler. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, drop a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. Uh, drop a like um, if you haven't. If this is your first Woodwork Life video that you've seen, um, please subscribe. It really helps out. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you're interested in more in-depth reviews of some of this stuff, because I know I really just kind of glossed over everything. There's just so much. Um, I do go into more in-depth reviews on my website, um, woodworklife.com. So check that out if you're into more like in-depth reviews. I'm going to be going into a little more detail on some of these, kind of just whatever I find cool and interesting. So I guess stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching today. And remember, to keep your tools sharp and keep your mind sharper. Have a good one. How to work. <laughs>